Hey yo, what's up everybody? This one is very, very sensitive. Very, very sensitive, very sensitive prophecy. And um, I want you to take a listen. Tell me what you think. Uh, I had three possible people in this prophecy, but tell me what you think. It's very, very sensitive. It was um, released in 2018. Go and take a listen at it and you tell me what you think because it is very, very important. Um, but I don't want to put fear in you. Whatever happens, if it is God who said it, it's going to happen. Um, if, if it was not uh, God who spoke, spoke, up, spoke it, then it's not going to come to pass. We've seen people prophesying things that do not come to pass. But let us listen to this one. Uh, and I'll tell you at the end of this prophecy uh, my thoughts and I also want to hear your thoughts. Who do you think was being referred to in this prophecy? Watching the current situation and maybe the people have already passed away. Tell me what you think. Uh, let's listen to this part of the prophecy. He has died. And the people that are coming, they see that there is no life in this person. And what they are saying is, let us find out from the doctors what has killed this person. There is a post-mortem that has been conducted on this person. And there are people questioning the credibility of the pathologist. Could they have been paid to say he died from a natural disease while he was sleeping or he was murdered? Nobody is able to explain how this person has died. I'm using the words this person was I do not want to disclose whether he is a man or she is a lady. Those are some of the details that I will only know about. I am not allowed to say them. But the person has died. And a lot of people had hopes on this person. He or she was a very uh, big man in the political structures of this country. But there is no enough evidence to explain how this person has lost his or her life. But the, the story takes some twists and turns to the extent that there are certain family members that are now pointing fingers to some other family members say, saying, I think this one knows what happened to this one. But when investigations are done on those relatives, Nothing concrete is discovered. The story ends like that. A lot of people are left with only but speculations as to what happened to this person. Was this person murdered? Or this person died a natural death? This is the problem. But a lot of people are going to be left orphaned because of the death of that person. Because a lot of people expected that person to do something for the betterment of people's lives. A lot of people had hopes on this person, but the person has died. And nobody can explain what really happened. Did God know that this person was dying? Yes, he knows. That's why I'm giving this prophecy why did God allow that person to attract a lot of attention and many people expecting that is going to change things and yet God knew that this person was losing his or her life. God is doing it because he wants to divert people's attention from seeing somebody else behind the scenes whose eyes, uh, whose God's eyes are looking at. And I want to assure you this afternoon that this person 
He has not died a natural death. But nobody is going to discover who has done it. Because it is a clean job. Even though it is a clean job, God is going to punish those that would have done the clean job. If people are going to look at punishments that God is going to make against certain people, only the punishment is going to show the people who would have done it. By monitoring the punishments of God in the country, people are going to discover the culprits. But outside the punishments, no forensic investigations are going to bring out the culprits. It is a smart job. That is the first prophecy. That is the first prophecy. So people are going to say, if he had not gone there, maybe he or she could not have died. Some are going to say, maybe it is food poisoning. Some are going to say, maybe they strangled this person to death. But the pathologists are going to say, no, we don't see evidence of suffocation. This is not death by strangled So this is the end of the prophecy. I am not going to give any further details regarding the prophecy. Keep it. If God is true, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. I don't want anyone to call me concerning this prophecy. I'm warning you. Tell your neighbor, don't try to talk to Apostle Chiwenga about this prophecy. This is the last time you are hearing this prophecy from me. I mentioned this is very, very sensitive. Who could that be? So I have a number of people that I think this prophet was referring to. The first person is Miss Trudy Stevenson, who was a former member of MDC, I mean, a leader in the MDC, and then she was now an ambassador uh, in the government of Idim Nangagwa, and she was based in somewhere in, uh, in North Africa. That's number one. Number two, uh, Morgan Changrai. But if you look at the case of Morgan Changrai, Morgan Changrai, uh, he died after a long battle with cancer. Obviously, we have to scratch him off this prophecy. And it was, the prophecy was done after Morgan Changrai had, had already passed away because the prophecy was done on the, uh, on the 14th, 15th of uh, April, 2018. And then the third person could be, uh, parents Shiri. Could that be? Tell me what you think. The fourth person could be Patson Zamara. And the fifth person could be Nelson Chamis. I'm just giving you it out there as the prophecy is saying. Please tell me what you think on the comment section. Anyway, I don't want you guys to get worried that we are going to lose Wamba dear Wamba. Anyway, I'm just giving it out there. Please tell me what you think on the comment section. Go and listen to the whole full prophecy and you will tell me what you think. This is your boy once again telling you that rise up Africa. The world is waiting for you.